Hi there. Welcome. It's me, Joan Manson of Manson Fine Art, and today I'm going to use every last one of these watercolor brushes to create this lovely portrait of Bo, a cocker spaniel, and I'm going to do it with my pan pastels. Well, I'm not going to use every last one of my watercolor brushes. I'm going to use a lot of them, and my plan is for the most part to use only the brushes when applying the pan pastels. Now, I am using and have been using the sponge applicator and the raw umber to create a, an immediate base coat for the portrait, but I'll be doing all the building up and layering in and adding in of all the rest of the pan pastels using brushes. Here I come. Now he's got a little toy there on the right that he's resting on, and that's what I'm starting with. It's blue and pink and white and black. This video is set at eight times in time lapse. I, it's actually a two hour video and at some point I'll go through and I will edit it properly and make it available on YouTube. But two hours is a seriously long video. So there's a lot of work involved in the editing process. But this will give you a taste of how I applied the pastels using the paint brushes no water no alcohol just the, just the powder on the brushes there's that beautiful bow just taking a look at the coloring taking a look at my pan pastels the ones that i've chosen and as i go along i will add some more because i the longer i look at the reference photo the more i see in terms of the color using one of the brushes. That's a, about a number two brush. And the reason I'm using watercolor brushes is because they um, are soft but firm enough for the application. Some certainly are, are softer than others, but I find that the Jakarta are very good for this because they come to a fine point. And I have the Sennelier, uh pastel brushes, which are made for applying pastels to the sanded papers. And they work beautifully. I'll be using those a bit in here. And I am using pastel matte paper, which is a little bit of a sand, sanded paper. Uh, it is um, plastic on the opposite side. It holds up very well to multiple layers of applications of the pastels. I can use color pencils, pastel pencils, um, soft pastels, anything on anything on these. Um, some people have used mineral spirits while applying watercolor pencils, but one has to Keep in mind that those mineral spirits bleed, so you want to be careful how you apply them, and certainly not in large amounts. But I won't be doing that here today. Right now, I'm working on Bo's wonderful nose. I'm building up the color. I'm not using black except for shadow and the deeper portions of the nostril. For the most part, I am using the um, shaded raw umber. And we're building up the eyes as well with the shaded raw umber. And we'll add a little white and do some highlighting. I am using 
uh, number four brush there. Well, in actual time, this video just took just moments shy of two hours to complete. And if I had done it using just the sponge applicators, I would have completed it in half the time. Build up using the brushes takes a little bit more time. It has a lovely effect. And, and when you're done, in fact, you can't tell the difference between the brushes and the sponge applicators. Bo is a very much loved family pet of a co-worker, Courtney. He is a senior dog who has recently been beset upon by a puppy named Jingle. Although they don't share the same breed, they do have very much the same coloring. And you'll see Jingle in the next video that I do. But, you know, Bo is a senior dog and he's getting used to the puppy, and the puppy pretty much treats Bo like a chew toy. <laughs> but that's just the way it is with puppies. And somewhere along the line, I pulled out the Sienna and the sienna shade to add to the dog because there are reds in the fur of Bo and there are reds in the collar around his neck. And I wanted to be sure that although this image is going to be soft, this portrait is going to be soft in appearance, I did want sufficient contrast. I wanted a little more vibrance that, that I would have using, using just the umbers. And of course, I'll be adding some pink into the eyes and onto the nose. I was just using a charcoal white pencil to um, add a few highlights to the nose. If you look very closely at your dog or cat, you'll see that there are visible cell skin cells. And when you have light shining on them, there are individual little light specks on each of those cells. So that's what I was using the pencil for. And of course, I was adding pink and sienna to the nose 
and right now he's looking at me like I'm applying make makeup to him, and he's wondering just what it is I'm trying to do to him. Oh no, that's a picture. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. Well, I do like the results that I'm that I was seeing while using the watercolor brushes to apply the pastels. I don't think that I'm going to do any more pieces that are primarily watercolor pen, uh, brushes. What I'm going to go back to is using the sponge applicators, but I'll be incorporating the watercolor brushes, uh, particularly in backgrounds and in fine detail with the smaller brushes. I think that's going to be a very nice partnership of, of tools. And of course, I do use pastel pencils and, uh, and chalk to do specific fine details in the animal portraits. There are just some things that aren't possible with sponge applicators. And I'm just using the sponge applicator to apply the uh, pan pastel to the background to create some greater texture in the background. That is raw umber light. So it all blends rather than using stark titanium white. And the sponge applicators are great for applying over larger surfaces, although you do have to continue to work with them or you'll leave a texture behind. But in this case, I like the texture I'm leaving behind. Yep, both starting to look like a puppy now. Well, a grown-up puppy. And I have made a point of not adding all the gray and not allowing the skin to be as loose as it is in an older dog because I thought I would shave a few years off of Bo and make him just a little bit younger. And see, that's a cool thing that you can do when you draw or paint. You can change the age of your subject. There is beautiful Bo, and there is beautiful Bo in my portrait. I'm so glad you were able to join me. I hope you enjoyed this time lapse video, and I hope that you'll be with me to see the time lapse video I do for the portrait of his new baby brother, Jingle, or sister, excuse me. Jingle is a girl.
I'm trying to get this in focus so I can give you a good close-up of Bo. Get a little closer so you can see better the detail of the portrait. There we go. Thanks again for stopping by. Bye-bye.